The Constitution gives states the responsibility of overseeing elections. But D.C. is not a state, and Congress has authority over local laws in the district, including D.C.'s election laws. House Republicans have proposed a new bill that they say would act as a blueprint states could follow for conducting elections. But the American Confidence in Elections Act would actually change several laws here in D.C. If it became law, it would require voters to show a photo ID. It would place restrictions on drop boxes for ballots. It would also restrict the district from sending mail-in ballots to voters unless they requested one. The act would prohibit same-day voter registration, and it would prohibit non-citizens from voting in local D.C. elections, which is set to begin in the next election cycle. This comes after House Republicans, with the help of Democrats, including President Biden, were successful in blocking D.C.'s revised criminal code from becoming law. They've also tried to block two other laws from taking effect. Mayor Bowser, who um, recently testified before the Republican-led House Oversight Committee, life. sees the legislation as another step backward for D.C. home rule. We, uh, we need to fight back against any interference from people who don't live here for making the, the rules of our district. The Republican chairman of the House Oversight and the House Administration Committees have invited Monica Holman Evans, the executive director of D.C.'s Board of Elections, as well as former Virginia Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli to testify about the legislation. The two committee chairmen issued a joint statement. Congress needs to get serious about election integrity and implement a comprehensive plan to restore confidence in America's electoral process. The American Confidence in Elections Act is a landmark legislation set to build voter confidence, equip states, protect Americans' political speech, and ensure overdue election integrity measures for the District of Columbia. While several years ago there were delays in reporting election results, and more recently some issues with several hundred ballots being sent to wrong addresses, the district has not had any major election problems that would have called into question the validity of any election. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. That congressional hearing is set for this Wednesday. Now, while she has not been invited to testify, Mayor Bowser told News 4 she plans to weigh in with members of Congress about the legislation.